Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. Very nice to see you and it's nice to be back here. Um, it's been a little while. I think the last date I uploaded a video was about three, three and a bit weeks ago. Um, so uh, it's good to be back here in front of the camera with my friends, um, people who are watching this video. Thank you very much. Good to see you again. Um, and for those of you that are new, welcome. Um, right, I'll tell you all about why I've been missing and why I haven't posted a video and stuff like that. Um, the sound of my voice, you'll probably be able to maybe work it out, but um, I'll tell you in a, as the shave goes on kind of thing, just because uh, I don't want this video to be too long. So, um, a few days ago, it was my birthday. Um, I was um, 26 years old, <laughs> times two. <laughs> um, and uh, myself and Mrs. Kevy, we'd went away for a little break um, I came back and there was a few packages waiting for me um, and they were from Yaki in China um, and this was in one of them so this is the soap for today uh, DLC Yaki lemon lime and cedar wood uh, lemon there's a lemon there lime there's a lime there cedar wood there's a wood there uh, so this is a uh, six ounces of soap um, it says on here it's mentholated. Can you just see that little bit there? Um, but let me show you the ingredients and you can pause that and take a look. Now the thing about that is I can't see menthol in the ingredients there. Um, but it says mentholated on it. So no doubt when we'll lather it up it, it will be. There's the uh, soap, how it looks. Yeah. To me it smells, um, I can smell the menthol in it, I definitely can, but um, it doesn't say it in the ingredients, but I'm sure that happened with one of these soaps before. Um, they're made by um, Master Soap Creations in South Africa, they make these for Yaki. Uh, so that's that's these, and they also sent um, a couple of razor, razors, a couple of brushes, and the matching splash too. But, um, I wanted to show you something. Some people have said to me before, these these are quite expensive to buy uh, from Yaki and if you don't like the scent, well, you're kind of stuck with the soap. But what Yaki have started doing, and I think it's a great thing, they've started um, making these little sample pots, um, 27 grams. There's quite a good good amount of shaves in there, probably, you probably get about, I don't know, a dozen shaves out of that maybe, 10, 10 shaves maybe. So um, they also sent these through just to just to let people know these are about three pounds each, which is probably about five dollars, maybe about four and a bit euros. And they also do a matching splash as well, sample size. So very good if you want to try a soap from Yaki, um, from their, their website, you can. Uh, and rather than buying the whole puck, you can, buy this to start with, see if you like it, and then maybe buy the whole puck. Does that make sense? Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little bit of the sample. I'll put it in the Captain's Choice um, copper bowl, which is here. Uh, let me show you the razor. Um, because I've been away for a few weeks, um, about three weeks, I thought I'd come back and use the favourite, the Rockwell 6S. Here's your all stainless, uh, an adjustable, not in the normal adjustable way, it has different plates that you can change with different numbers. Uh, here's one here, R2, D2, uh, <laughs> R2, D2, R2 and R4, that was just a little joke there, R2, D2. <laughs> that little thing from Star Wars, a little droid. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that's it, that's my favourite razor at the moment, ever unless another one comes along that I like better than this. But it says stainless steel, Rockwell 6S, yeah, a lot, lots of people love it. Uh, inside that I'm gonna put a Gillette Nasset on its second use. There's one dot there. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. The brush, uh, this was in the package from Yaki as well. I've used this before, but not this particular one. Um, it's the Yaki Mojito. It's a 24 millimeter, and they've done it in a, in a badger knot before. Last time I used this, maybe about six months ago, and I said I hope they bring it out in synthetic knots, um, these brushes, just so it gives people choice. Some people don't like using 
um, natural hair brushes. Some people just prefer a synthetic knot, not because it's very easy to look after. So that's the Yaki Mojito. Yeah, beautiful. It's kind of, it's got like a vintage retro feel, kind of like similar to the Ever Ready brushes. Not exactly the same, but it has that vibe to it. As I say, 24 millimeter knot uh, and very soft. Um, yeah, there is there. Good brushes. Yaki know what they're doing when it comes to brushes. That's for sure. Um, they also sent me some new razor handles, which I will put, um, I'll put some pictures up just now. Well, actually, once I get this lathered, while I'm doing that, you guys can take a look at pictures of the handles. So what I'm going to do just now is take some of the soap, put it in the bowl, whip it up with the brush, get the razor set, uh, and then we'll come back when the lather's ready and we'll chat some more. And you guys just now can take a look at some of the handles. That, well, not some of the handles. <laughs> the four handles that Yaki sent me uh, to try out with different razors. So take a look at them and I'll see you to start the shave. Okay, so that's the uh, lather whipped up. Yeah, looks great. Very nice. Nice and uh, peaky in this bowl. Yeah, good shine on it. Beautiful scent. Lemon, lime, cedarwood. Yeah, with this little brush, beautiful. Um, right, okay, let's, uh, let's get to lathering. Right, I've put the razor together. I'm gonna to start this on, first pass on setting six on the uh, 6S, which is the most aggressive plate, but um, I have a lot of stubble to knock down here, probably about five, six days growth. But I wanna show you something first. Um, some people, you might have heard, if you're new to this way of shaving, you might have heard some people say, it's a good thing to map your face, you know, the way your hair grows, um, like people usually do the first pass with the grain, across the grain, against the grain. Um, so I was looking at my hair just before this, and I've kind of noticed that it grows kind of, I'll actually zoom in the camera and you can see it kind of grows down this way, across this way, um, here's kind of like that, it goes down here, and, but what I'll do is, if I can, I'll zoom the camera in and you can see um, just which way my hair grows. So can you see that there? Yeah, right. So this is on my cheek, so it kind of goes down here to start, and then across here, like that, it kind of grows that way. On my chin here, it kind of goes out like that. Mustache goes down, there's a bit in the middle there. Under my chin, you can see it kind of goes diagonally. Uh, over here, it's kind of all over the place. And on this side, it kind of goes so, like that, you can see it. It's a good way to map your face. You can see the way it grows there. Kind of grows down that way. Which, um, oh, <laughs> wrong way. <laughs> Which, uh, strictly speaking, isn't, that isn't like straight down, 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 down. It kind of goes that way. And, but I'm not going to quibble over it. That's, you know, um, some people have got <clears throat> um, growing just down like that and then they do it like that. But that's a good way to map your face is to let your hair grow out for a few days and then you'll be able to see which way it goes. So you're going with the grey and stuff like that. But as your wet shaving journey goes on, you'll kind of figure that out, figure out what works for you, what doesn't work for you, what maybe causes you a bit of irritation, stuff like that. But it's um, that's the way to do it. Yeah, so I just thought I'd show you that just for something um to show you okay it's been a while this might be a long video i've got a lot of catching up to do three three <laughs> three weeks worth of um that right let's uh, wet the face let's 
some hot water. Yeah, a lot of stubble here. Yeah, I've, um, I've still been shaving. I've actually, I actually caught my Adam's apple. You can see that a couple of weeks ago. There was a little spot down here. And, uh, right, let's start lathering. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, so the reason I've been away is, um, I had um, COVID. There was a, there was a, a COVID outbreak uh, where I work. Uh, I work for Royal Mail as a postman, same job as Paul H and CB Shaves. And there was a, there was a COVID outbreak at work. Um, and in the space of uh, three days, there was 25 um, positive cases um, in the office where I work, in the Royal Mail office, the delivery office. 25 cases of uh, positive COVID. Um, so it was kind of inevitable that I, I caught it because people were handling different things and mail and packages and stuff like that. Just uh, dipping the tips of the brush. So I had COVID and uh, I actually got it on my wedding anniversary. <laughs> Wedding anniversary was on the Tuesday, and uh, that's when I went for my test for a PCR test, and I tested positive on the, the Wednesday. Um, and then two days later, three days later, was it? Mrs. Kevy caught it too. So happy anniversary, darling! I give you. <laughs> you shouldn't laugh. <laughs> you shouldn't laugh. No, I've, I've been pretty lucky with it. I feel like I've got a. I feel like I had a like a bad cold. I'm just uh, dipping the tips here. This is a lovely scent, actually. Lemon, lime and cedar wood. That's good, the lather's flying all over the place. That's what I want. Shows it's hydrated. Yeah, so um, a few days later, she, um, Mrs. Kevy, tested positive too. So we were both, um, had to self-isolate for uh, 10 days. Which was kind of difficult. But the worst thing about it was, I lost, well we both did, I lost my sense of taste and smell. So I couldn't smell anything, I couldn't taste anything, which is one of the, uh, one of the things with Covid that's... Yeah, it's one of the uh, symptoms. Not everyone gets it, but um, that, was, that was one of the things. So I couldn't smell any soaps, and I had like a, I felt like I had a really bad cold. I felt like my brain was trying to burst out my head. Uh, really bad headaches. But on the mend now, but you could probably hear still, still, I still feel like I've got a bit of a cold. That's what it feels like. Look at that lather. Even more water. Beautiful. Yeah, nice shine on it too. You can actually see the stubble through that. Yeah, it feels like I've got um, like I've got a cold, but my um, smell and taste is probably back to about eighty percent. This is Kevy. <laughs> she still she still can't taste anything or smell anything. She's a few days behind me, so. But here we go. We're over the worst of it, and we're allowed back out now. Well, it's been a. Bit of just over a week, so it's all good. So that's where I've been. I've been laid low with COVID. I'm actually pretty lucky that I didn't get the symptoms too bad. I've been, both of us have been double vaccinated, so all good in that regard. Get some heat in this. Right, let's go with a, a 6S with the Gillette Nasset, sick in use. I love you, baby. Let's just absolutely <laughs> just mowed through that here. Look at that. Nothing there. Superb. Yeah, so um, I think the last thing I wanted to do was uh, stand in front of a camera. I just didn't feel up for it. I just I couldn't talk. I had a sore throat. My head was... Uh, 
My head was bouncing, as they say here in Scotland. My head was bouncing. Just means I've got a sore head. <laughs> this is a nice, uh, I can feel the menthol on this. It's not hugely mentholated. But I can feel it. It feels uh, a little bit cool. Which is nice. <laughs> E.T. for <laughs> Um Yeah, when I, I had a shave probably a couple of weeks ago and I caught right on my Adam's apple. Big chunk of skin. Yeah, that, that was the worst symptom for me, having COVID, was losing the sensitation smell. I'm a, myself and Mrs Kev, we were great lovers of food. We are foodies, we love our meals out and stuff like that. And uh, to lose your sense of uh, taste and smell, it was just a nightmare. We had, um, yeah, I can feel that menthol now. <laughs> we had um, family members. They would call us up. A couple of my sisters called, said, if you need anything, uh, if you need groceries or that, just let me know and I'll get you some stuff. So um, <laughs> she brought some stuff and we told her to get some uh, pickled onions. She said, get some pickled onions so we could try and taste them. So she, let, she got the groceries, left them at the door. When she'd gone, we picked them up, brought them in, got the pickled onions. We were just like, <laughs> nothing, nothing at all. <laughs> Couldn't taste it. It was, um, it was a weird, a weird sensation. Right, first pass. Oh, wow. Excellent. Right, great residual slickness. Let me rinse it. I'll come back for pass number two. Okay, rinsed off nicely. Yeah, that feels really good. Right, what I've done is I've, uh, I've switched the plates up. Um, the second pass, I'm going to do it on number four, plate number four. Can you see that in there? There we go, number four. Right, so on this one is um, six and five. Uh, the other plate is four and two, so I'll probably do four, two against the grain and uh, see where we are for pickups. Right, let's go back to this lovely, lovely soap from Yaki. Oh, wow, I can feel that cold now. Great little brush, superb. There's a nice bit of backbone in the knot, but it's, uh, the tips are soft. Really good. Just gather some more soap. Yeah, so I'm, uh, I'm way behind on stuff that I've got to use. <laughs> I've got lots of new things I wanna show you guys, but um, obviously the last three weeks have been well, I could have done videos, but I would have been, <laughs> you know, I would have been miserable and horrible and my throat was on fire. My head was bouncing. Right, that looks good. Right. Plate number four on the uh, success across the growth. There's a little bit of overhang on this, uh, just at the side there, can you see it sticking out? Yeah, so um, when I was shaving uh, during my COVID 
paint. Obviously I was kind of run down and stuff so I had like I had like a big pimples and spots here and that little cut under my Adam's apple. But I was still shaving. I just couldn't smell anything. I even tried using like tabac, stuff like that, but I was just like, can't smell it. <laughs> it was, uh, yeah, it was a bit annoying, but as I say, it's com coming back now, it's about 80% of my uh, smell and taste. It's weird because even when you fart, like you do a fart, it's like, there's no smell. <laughs> Usually when you fart, you, you like the smell of your own fart, so it's like, where's the smell? <laughs> Is that just me? Likes the smell of their own farts. <laughs> this razor is superb. I love it. Yeah, like you can see, there's still a couple of blemishes down here. Right, second pass done. Yeah, I can feel the uh, menthol now. It's nice. It's just a nice cooling sensation. That is amazing. Right, let me rinse. I'll put it on to plate number two. Come back for the third pass. See you in a minute. Okay, that's us back. Yeah, that feels really good. Great slickness on that. Yeah, I think that's a, I think that's a wise move from um, Yaki to bring out these little sample pots. Just to let you try them because, you know, as I say, it's quite a... Your soaps aren't the cheapest, but it just gives you, it lets you try it beforehand. Little sample pot. And especially a good thing with the splash as well. But, um... I'm here to tell you that it's very, very good. Oh, you can see that... It's still going strong, there's still lots in the bowl here. Look at that, you're not going to argue with that. Yeah, I have some, um, I was sent some uh, master soap creations who make the soap for Yaki. Um, they make them for Yaki in South Africa. I have a couple of their soaps to review as well. I think they sent out um, a few of their soaps to some of the YouTubers. comfortable. That's the trouble now with these brushes. There's so many good good looking handles and stuff and um, the knots are still so good. They're just improving all the time. I'll put links for everything in the description of this video. Right, I've, um, I've put this onto plate number two now. So that's the opposite side of what I was on. It was on four, so maybe you can see that, hopefully you can, for the against the growth. That's too mild, listen to that. Yeah, some people say that's, that's really mild, number two. And it is mild, but it's comfortable. Yeah, just the uh, the versatility of this razor, the success. You know, some people will say, "Well, it's a it's a bit of a hassle, you know, changing all the plates and having to unscrew it. it." Only takes you seconds. So, what's been happening in the world, <laughs> in the in the wet shaving world? Yeah, I've been uh, I've been watching some videos, stuff like that, trying to catch up and uh, 
我可是怕他一门，我是怕。Yeah, I've had time to watch videos, so I've been watching lots of videos, not just shaving stuff. And um, some some people might say, what have you got that towel there for, Kevy? Well, this is a nighttime shave. I don't know if I mentioned that. I think I did. Maybe I didn't. I can't remember. Well, it's a nighttime shave, so it's dark outside, so I've got lights here, I've got lights here, I've got lights here. Uh, if that towel isn't there, it sh the lights kind of reflect on the shower screen. That's a bit distracting for me. Is uh, why the towel's there. Superb, absolutely superb. Wow, right, let's have a little rinse. See if there's any uh, pickups nearly done. Wow. Yeah, you always get a good shave when it, when you've got a, a good few days growth. There's a tiny little bit there. So I'll just do that on the neck. I'll leave this on uh, number two. Yeah, I was going to. I was meant to do the uh, the blue shave for Kim, Kim Gray, but um, I didn't do that either because I just didn't feel up to it. But I might do it in the next couple of shaves. Um, for those of you that don't know, that was like a, a cancer awareness thing. Kim Gray is a a, a lady wet shaver, and she's a. Uh, Suffering from cancer at the moment. So, um, yeah, I'm going to do that at some point. Right, three passes, pickups. Oh, wow. <laughs> right, let's. I'm just smiling because it, it's so good. Right, let's have a face wash with this. Look, look. Yeah, I can feel the menthol now, it's nice. Great balance of the scent. Lime, lemon, cedarwood. Right, rub this in, clean up the gear, see for the post. Good to be back. <laughs> wow, that feels amazing. Really, really close, comfortable. Great. Right, on to the post shave. Right, as I said, they sent this um, the big bottle of splash, but I'm going to just use the sample one, which we, you can also get now as well from um, I think it's AliExpress, the Yaki site, isn't it? So. Um, What's in here? 10 mil. So you probably, I don't know, 10 shaves maybe? Like there's no restrictor on these bottles, so just put your finger over it. Kind of like a milky. I don't know if you'll be able to see that in there. Yeah, it's like a milky, like skin food. Wow, great scent.
that's mentally too. Wow, that is nice. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, there's the uh, ingredients on the splash. So witch hazel, rose water, glycerin. Not much in it, but very, very good. Yeah, it doesn't say menthol in that either, does it? No, but there definitely is menthol. You can see my eyes, look. Just uh, just when you put it on, just a nice cooling feel to it. It's really good to be back. I really missed you guys. I know, it's been a long time. <laughs> yeah, you can maybe see that in, in there. Look how it looks. Kind of like a milky... Well, shake it up beforehand just to mix it. Uh, and I'm going to finish it off with Chien Bam, which is from Aldi's or Lidl's. Lidl's in the UK. Wow, look at my eyes are streaming. That menthol. Yeah, you only need to spot this. Just that much. Uh, wow, <laughs> look at that. I look like I've been at a funeral. <laughs> wow. That's so good. I'll be good for uh, clearing out my sinuses <laughs> with the, uh, the COVID stuff. But still hanging about. Wow. Yeah, that, I, you can tell why I'm not a fan of menthol, but... <laughs> Wow, that is fe that fe <laughs> That feels amazing. Yeah, really, really good. Right, enough waffling. This has probably went on for, how long is that now? Let me just check. Two days, six hours. Not too bad. Let me just uh, wipe my eyes. Yeah, look at that. I look like I've been drinking for a fortnight. It's just two weeks, two weeks on it. Right, um, today we bowl out in the Captain Choice Copper Bowl with the Yaki sample of lemon, lime and cedarwood. And this is mentholated. Not too bad on the menthol with the soap. But the splash is, uh, for me anyway, because I'm not used to menthol, but look at this. Um, the razor was the Rockwell Success. Plate number six, plate number four, plate number two, and number two for the pickups. The brush was the Yaki Mojito with the synthetic knot, 24 millimeter. Yeah, I'll put links for everything. Even the handles that I showed you, I'll put the links for them. Um, three passes, pickups, face wash, um, post shave was the matching splash, this little sample bottle, which is great that you could get these now. My nose is even running now. Ah. <laughs> Yeah, that was the splash and finished off with GN Bam from Lidl's in the UK. And that, uh, ladies and gents, <laughs> boys and girls, hamburgers and cheeseburgers, hot dog and pretzels and everything else that you want to associate with food. Um, that's the shave for today. It's good to be back. It's good to see you. I'm uh, so happy that my sense of smell is coming back and I can smell these wonderful soaps and uh, aftershaves. Um, as I say, lots of new stuff to show you guys over the next coming shaves, but um, it was just kind of finding time and I didn't feel up to it for uh, standing in front of the camera talking. And you know how I like to talk, you know how difficult that must have been. Still sounds like I've got a bit of a cold, but I'm on the mend now. It's, uh, it's getting better as each day goes by, so all good. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you haven't been vaccinated, maybe think about it, because uh, I would hate to think what it was like uh, if I wasn't double vaccinated, um, you know, with the, with the COVID stuff, so, but um, fingers crossed, I'm on the mend, uh, getting better each day, Mrs Kerry's getting better, some people aren't so fortunate, but um, that's uh, that's COVID, it's, it's an awful thing that we're living with, um, I don't want to go on about it too much. Right, okay, um, enjoy your shaves. Hope you're using some great stuff. Um, as I say, links for everything will be in the description. 
I'll see you in the next shave. Have yourselves a fantastic weekend. I'm off to uh, get some tissues to dry my eyes. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video. Missing you already, guys. Bye. Bye. Take care. <laughs>